And then I was like, really? Let me go and check it out. So mm -hmm. that was when I clicked the hashtag for the first time yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I clicked the hashtag. And um, when I saw the challenge and I saw what was going on, my mouth was like this. <laughs> I just opened my mouth for like 10 minutes. Oh, five minutes. Okay, one minute. I just... <laughs> Why do I want to be part of something that just... Um, glorifies the sexualization of women. Mm. I am more than that. I am more than rich and bum. Preach. Like, and I am more than this. This you, uh, all of that is just sexual, just the sexualization of women. And mm -hmm. by you doing it, you're just appalling that. You're just contributing to that. Welcome back, welcome back to our channel. My name is Ayo. And I am Okwe. And together we are called Ayo Okwe. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back to our channel and we welcome you to the month of February. Ooh, February, February, February. We know what happens this month, okay? It is the month of the, you know, love in the air. Love in the air. The month of the lovers. Month of the lovers. For those who are married, you will see the fruit of this month in like November or something like that. <laughs> you didn't know what I was saying there, did you? But now, now you clocked. Yes. Uh, anyways, you can speak for yourself. <laughs> for those, for those, okay, those who Woo! want it. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, guys, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be back. Okay. Mm. And maybe we should just start by rolling out some of. Uh, announcements okay mm. so in this month uh, the month of February we're gonna be hosting a relationship seminar okay an online relationship seminar can we get so a, whoop, a webinar whoop. okay and it's gonna be on the 28th of February okay it is titled finding the one you have always dreamed about hallelujah finding the one you have always dreamed about and this is because you know we're in this season of love and uh, valentine season and so this is particularly for the singles okay mm -hmm. that you're looking you're searching you're feeling like oh i'm alone you're feeling like oh i need someone to be with or mm -hmm. i've not found the one yet i've mm -hmm. not found so we're going to be teaching you some key steps some principles to finding the one you have always dreamed yep. about okay yeah. i found the woman of my dreams and i'm hoping she found the man of her dreams uh uh let me just receive the compliments just give them give them give them give them to me i found the woman of my dreams i also found the man of my dreams okay, and, <laughs> and, uh, and we want you guys to find the man and the woman of your dreams okay so finding the one you've always dreamed about the 28th of february mark your calendars go and register now the yep. early bird tickets end on the 15th of february mm -hmm. okay so make sure you get your early bird tickets before the 15th and afterwards you're going to get the standard tickets yep. or the replay but you yep. don't even want to get the replay you want to be there live. live okay so 28th of february yeah okay so that being said let us dive into everything we have for you today Hmm, today, today, <laughs> today, not today, right, today we're going to be talking about something which is, I want to say it's very serious, I mean we'll try and be as serious as possible, mm -hmm. but I want us to understand each other when we talk about it, mm. we're going to talk about something that we've noticed has, you know, come up, it came up so sudden, so mm. obviously, it just came up into the limelight, mm -hmm what we call no it's not what we call actually sorry what is called the silhouette challenge the silhouette challenge okay so we're gonna just have this conversation about mm. the silhouette challenge um we're gonna be sharing our perspective about it from a moral standpoint also from a spiritual standpoint mm. okay so if this is a video that interests you keep watching mm. okay now where, where where how did this thing come about basically i was in a uh in a, i have a whatsapp group with some of my guys right mm -hmm. and one of my guys sent a whatsapp photo i'll share with you guys sent a whatsapp shop photo and on the whatsapp photo we saw something about a brother femi reporting a pastor a pastor's daughter to the pastor so literally brother femi says pastor i saw this challenge on twitter and your daughter was doing the silhouette challenge on Twitter. 
and the pastor responded and said, Brother Femi, before you send the video to me, can you please answer one question? What were you doing mm -hmm. watching this same hashtag mm -hmm. on the Silhouette Challenge? Okay, so I saw it, I laughed, and then I sent it to the family group, okay, mm -hmm. the group where I have my family, and obviously all of us, Okoyemi, is in the group as well. So I sent the group to my family, and then my brother now responded and said, Man, have you actually seen that Silhouette Challenge? Mm. It is, and he used a word that I don't want to use yet, but I'll tell you later what he said. And I was like, really? Let me go and check it out. So mm -hmm. that was when I clicked the hashtag for the first time yesterday. Mm. So I clicked the hashtag. And um, when I saw the challenge and I saw what was going on, my mouth was like this. <laughs> I just opened my mouth for like 10 minutes. Oh, five minutes. Okay, one minute. I just, <laughs> I opened my mouth. I'm like, seriously? Mm-hmm. In this, I never knew anything in would be happening. London, what? No, in this life, in this thing, on this earth, I never knew I would see this in my own time. Oh my god. So that's what we want to talk about. Oh my gosh. Like, think, okay, go on. Like, sorry. when I first saw it, I went to go and see it after, and I was like, to be honest, I was disgusted. I was like, is this a joke? Is it mm. a filter? I said, no. Mm. No, they have to have, there must be something, you know, they have to have clothes on. There must be mm. something. And obviously the majority were girls. So me, I zo I went in, I was like, these girls must be wearing clothes. Ah. Then I saw bits of bodies that usually are concealed with clothes that didn't look. I'm a woman, so I know what should be on a woman's body. I was like, mm -hmm. wow. So, wow. I think, I don't even know where this thing started from. I don't even want to know right however let us just talk about trends okay let us talk about challenges and trends mm. i feel like okay we're in the social media age and um whether you're what does for, that even mean the social media age like everything is now online and i think the fact that we are in this lockdown mm -hmm. right um people we have more people online i feel like more people have joined instagram totally tiktok agree. and everything because totally people feel agree. like i need to still have some sort of interaction connection. or connection with people yeah so i feel like um a lot of things have increased and i feel like we've been having more challenges and more trends mm -hmm. because of of the lockdown mm -hmm. maybe some people are just bored mm -hmm. or some people just feel like i want to start something i don't know and but, social media has influenced this yeah. social media knows that you're at home they're mm -hmm. all i feel like they're all connected i don't know the story story behind it but yeah. I know that they're all connected because the more time you spend on your phone mm -hmm. the more locked in you are to your phone so mm -hmm. what 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 would keep you on your phone mm -hmm. trend trends mm -hmm. challenges mm -hmm. things to keep you to keep you there, in there and obviously to make sure that you finish all your data mm -hmm. doing uh, some nonsense challenge okay so now we're not condemning anyone who is doing it let us just make that clear um, however we just want to share our what we feel about about this, right? Um, generally, we talk about trends, okay? Mm -hmm. We talk about um, challenges. We've seen so many hashtags in the last one year. Uh, you know, there was don't touch it challenge or was it don't rush? Don't rush. There was a this or that challenge. Mm -hmm. There was, what else was there? There was, there uh, was oh, loads of, too many to even count. So many, you know. Dance challenges, yeah. singing challenges. Yeah changing clothes challenges yeah like, don't leave me don't, don't, don't leave, leave me. me so there's there's different challenges and um i feel like when people start challenges or trends um it is to sell something right mm -hmm. either you want to sell a product you want to sell a service you want to sell a personality or even you an experience sell an experience so yeah so it's about marketing something Okay, and then before you know it, 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 it starts trending. Mm -hmm. And then you see it on Twitter, trending on Twitter. You mm -hmm. see it trending on Instagram, Instagram, on TikTok. Okay, now, so the key thing there is, um, as Christians, right, as people of purpose, or in fact, you might not even be Christian, right? Just as someone who understands this is what I want to do, this is who I am, mm -hmm. right? Uh, should we be jumping on every trend? Should we, why do people jump on trends? Why do people mm. feel like, okay, this is what is happening now. I Different need to, things. I need to jump on this. Different why why do we think that? Well, I, th I feel like for us to just say people are bored is just, I, I don't even think that's even a strong enough reason because mm. there's so many other things you can do when you're bored. I feel people jump on trends to belong, hmm. to be, to feel part of something. Mm. 
the fear of missing out, FOMO, everyone else is doing it. If I don't do it, you know, I'm missing out. Mm. Um, you know, depending on the trend as well, to, to, to pop, mm -hmm. to pop, to blow, you know, there's certain trends, people jump on it because they know that they're going to get likes, shares, yeah. subscribers. You, you get following, your you following, following will increase. Your following will increase. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everyone, and I think the root of it is just wanting to belong, just mm. wanting to be involved. To be involved. I remember, was it, what's that, was that, was it a film or, yeah, it was a film, it was Jennifer, where she says, I uh, got to belong. I got to belong. So she wanted to be a big girl, a, a you know, big girl top in the girl. school, a top girl in school. And so she wanted to belong to that class. So she started doing things that were out of what her parents had taught her. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have gone away from the values that they stand for or the uh, what they stand for in life, their philosophy of life. And they've started jumping on trends because I want to belong, because mm. I want to trend. I want to be popular, I want to pop, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that it is popular does not mean that it is good. Mm. The fact that it is popular does not mean that it is purposeful. Mm. The fact that it is popular does not mean it is profitable. Mm. Mm. And there's a scripture there is. that confirms that. Okay, yes. can we read that scripture in the book yes. of 1 Corinthians? Yes. 1 Corinthians 10.23 NIV version says, mm. I have the right to do anything, mm. you say, mm. but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, mm -hmm. but not everything is constructive. Hmm. Beneficial in that, is it good for you? Mm -hmm. Constructive in that, again, is it good for you? Constructive, what, is it building you? Is it build? is it strengthening you? So, when we do, and, and someone might say, it is my Instagram, right? It is my page, it is my feed, it is my body, <laughs> because you're exposing your body mm -hmm. to the whole world. I don't understand that, but we'll come back to that in we'll come back to that in a second. So you're saying it is my body and I can do anything I want with it. Mm. However, what the Bible is telling us that not everything is profitable. Mm. You can do anything, but think about what this thing is doing to you, mm. your name, your reputation, and your generation. A lot mm. of people do things so blindly without thinking about the impact okay that it could have on their generation the people that are coming after them and we've heard of mm -hmm. of generational cycles of mm -hmm. of curses okay mm -hmm. because of one person right a whole generation seven eight years down the line they are suffering from the sin of one person mm -hmm. so it is very important to always think about what I am doing now mm -hmm. how is this going to impact me and is this beneficial yeah. to me or to the people that I'm going to be showing or the people that I've got. So literally, we're doing this video now. Before we shot this video, we had to think, is this going to be very beneficial for us or the people that are going to be watching the video? Mm. And that is why we decided, let us talk about this. Sorry, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, and people might say, generations, mm. it's not that deep. Mm. It's not, oh, you guys are being too deep. But mm -hmm. the thing is, it actually is that deep. Mm. I, there's three categories of people. Right? Mm -hmm. There are people that understand that I am doing something and I know the purpose for which I am doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you should not just be doing anything because people are doing it. Mm -hmm. So understand what is the purpose for this thing that I am doing. So that's the first category. They have a clear understanding of their philosophy and purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, the second category, they don't have a clear understanding. They just see things as they are. But they understand that there is a purpose somewhere, but they don't. it's not really clear. So they're just mm -hmm. doing many things and they also jump on things or do something. But but they don't have a clear understanding of what it is. Then there's the other category that have no sense whatsoever concerning purpose, right? They just follow, they just do what is happening. Oh, is this one now? They go. Mm. Oh, is that one now? They go. But you need to have a vision for your life. If I understand my vision, I understand my values, mm -hmm. then I understand my voice. I call them the three V's, okay? Your vision, your, your values, values, and your voice. Your vision is what you want to achieve, what you want to do, mm -hmm. who you want to be. That is the vision. The values are those things that are important to you mm -hmm. in order to achieve the vision. So mm -hmm. what is important? How can I prioritize things? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is important uh, uh, to my vision? Mm -hmm. And then you have the voice. What are you lending your voice to? So there's times where you're not doing certain things, but if you're supporting it with a message, you're lending your voice to that thing, mm -hmm. to that cause. So what am I... I'm amplifying with my voice. So what message am I sending? 
influencers. Why you, you hit me now? Sorry. <laughs> influencers. So you have the influencers, right? So literally, what are you influencing? Because we are all influencers. That baby, let's just pause on that. Yeah. So people in this moment might think, why is Ayo we're talking about this? You mm -hmm. know, we're not all influencers. You know, I only have thirty-five followers. It's only just little me. Mm -hmm. Everybody is an influencer. So what influencer? So so far as you can influence one person, mm -hmm. you're an influencer. You mm -hmm. might not be getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. You might not be verified on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You might not have thousands of followers, mm -hmm. but the fact that you have one person that looks to you, that looks at, ah, wow, Oppie did this or so, you know, it must be good, mm -hmm. or Ayo did this or so, it must be good, then you're an influencer, you're my You're an dear. influencer. So, the key, key question is, what are you influencing, mm -hmm. okay? Are you for the light or are you for the dark part? Mm. Okay. If you have, if you're for light, then you need to shine light. Mm. You need to influence the people. Literally, when the light comes, okay, the light covers a certain area. So my light might not shine and cover everyone, but I know that it should shine to certain areas because I am not called to everyone. Mm -hmm. So the people that you are called to, you need to ensure that you are influencing them positively. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you going to be influencing people with a a silhouette challenge what exactly are you doing let us talk about this silhouette challenge because if you've not seen it i don't even want you to go and see it mm. literally it is naked people going on to instagram and doing stupid things mm. okay because i don't see a reason why you should put a phone or a camera in front of you strip yourself naked and start whether you're shaking your bum or you're shaking your body or you're doing some poses some people are dancing on the pole you're holding the w as far as i'm concerned this is soft porn mm. okay this silhouette challenge is soft porn so if you are involved in the challenge or thinking about doing the challenge what you're saying is that i am supporting pornography because as far as i'm concerned mm. it is the challenge could have easily been called get naked, naked, challenge, naked challenge or or audition for porn challenge mm. that's the way it seems and i saw one there was not one guy he was pouring water on himself and doing like this on camera i don't i don't understand are you i i don't get what is the point what what are you trying to drive <laughs> well baby what gets me is the fact that we're actually so desensitized to it like it can be on instagram chill everything is cool but if you put a, a flag of nigeria with a blood on it instagram will flag that up and say that mm. that's a problem yeah but see guys we need to understand that these these things yeah it's mm -hmm. not is you think it's just the world mm -hmm. it's, it's not even the world thing it's things that are happening you know mm -hmm. the devil is just dropping little nuggets here mm -hmm. and the thing is before he used to be able to drop nuggets and people would be like hey this is the devil, you know what? Yeah. Uh, buying that cast. But mm -hmm. now he's dropping nuggets and people are helping him to drop it on top. Exactly. Silhouette challenge is like so much, like I said, it's like almost pornography. Mm -hmm. And it's okay, it's on Instagram mm -hmm. where a 13 year old and mm -hmm. 11 year old can have access to. Mm -hmm. And it is normal. It's not being flagged as pornographic content. It's cool. Everyone thinks it's cool. It's a mm -hmm. cool trend to jump on. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Mm -hmm. It's actually not. There's nothing cool about stripping yourself naked and showing it to the public. Excuse me, keep your nakedness to yourself. Like... Keep your nakedness to yourself, okay? Go, if you want to feel like dancing or feel like being sexy, look in the mirror in your house, dance, do whatever you like, and keep it to yourself. But the moment you strip yourself naked and you're putting it on social media to be part of a challenge, excuse me, I feel like you have lost the vision, okay? So, it goes back to those three Unless things. Unless your vision is to be selling sex. Because do you really have a vision? Mm. How is what you're doing going to impact your vision for your life? How is going there naked, okay, helping you in any way or helping you to achieve what you want to achieve if you really have a purpose for your life? And I think as also as women as well, talking from a woman's standpoint, like when these kind of things happen, I always like to think, why do I want to be part of something that just um, glorifies the sexualization of women. Mm. I am more than that. I am more than Preach. breast and bum. Preach. Like, and I am more than this. This you, uh, all of that is just sexual. Just the sexualization of women. And mm -hmm. by you doing it, you're just appalling that. You're just contributing to that. Mm -hmm. So you know when women go out and you know stand up for good things, mm -hmm. like, and men look at them in that sexual way, mm -hmm. it's because of things like this. Thank you. You know, and I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to contribute to that. So mm -hmm. even just looking at it from that standpoint that, you know what, I don't even want to contribute to the sexualization of women. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, because I am more than that. I am a woman, but I'm not just breast and bum. 
Absolutely. I am brains, you know, Thank and you. I am more than that. So even as a woman, I just feel like I just want to appeal to us to just carry ourselves with even more respect mm -hmm. than what 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 is attributed to us from the world mm -hmm. you know carry ourselves high just to say you know what i'm a woman of integrity mm -hmm. and there's certain things i wouldn't do mm -hmm. we're not saying don't have fun we're not saying don't jump on challenges we're not saying don't jump on trends but what we are saying is that when you do so consider your vision mm -hmm. your values mm -hmm. and your voice absolutely and i feel like that that is that might just be a good place to kind of just end this end this video okay because we don't want to just go on a rant we just mm -hmm. said let us just come and talk to our people okay because you guys are our people and if it's something that you've already done i'd encourage you to just take it off just take it down okay if you're thinking about doing it don't do it okay if you're thinking about okay what can i do now and they've started creating another challenge that i saw that we want to jump on it's called mm -hmm. the scripture challenge mm -hmm. okay so go and learn the scripture say the scripture do something with the scripture that is that is you shining your light that is you doing Sing something the positively wrap the scripture a anything you like be creative with it you know jump on the hallelujah challenge there's an hallelujah challenge that is starting as well this mm -hmm. month jump on that you know so let us shine our lights let us you know live our life with purpose mm. and meaning mm. okay live your life with purpose and meaning understand that listen and I feel like, as you said, you are showing yourself in a certain light when you do this. So imagine now you're single and then you're going on there and then you're showing your naked self. Excuse me, guys will slide into your DM, but yeah. the type of guys that will slide into your DM are thirsty men. Mm -hmm. Not men of purpose. Because they want to just get a quick chop chop. It's the men that want to just sleep with you, okay, and just use you anyhow. So you would get that attention from those type of men. Is that what you want? Is that really what you mm. want? Because after you be asking God, you say, God, when? But yet you're doing rubbish with your body on Instagram. So think about these things before you just jump on things. Think about these things before you decide to lend your voice to it. So what we're saying is that we are challenging the silhouette challenge. We are not for the silhouette challenge. Mm. We are against the silhouette challenge. Definitely. And if you're against the silhouette challenge, lend your voice as well, okay? They should stop it. They should take it down, okay? Because as far as I'm concerned, that challenge is demonic. Mm. That challenge is demonic. Listen, guys, we are in the end times. We should not be oblivious to what the devil is trying to do. Mm -hmm. These are the end times. This is like Sodom and Gomorrah. Back again. These are the end times. So we need to be sensitive in the spirit. Okay? I don't want to go too much to that level. Okay? I'm not trying to be spiritual, but these are the end times. Be sensitive to the spirit. Understand what the devil is trying to do and don't be a tool. Don't be an instrument be used. that the devil would yes, use. Okay. Exactly. Every day our prayer is, oh Lord, use me. We want to be used by God for God's will, mm. for the glorification of his name. That is all we are about. That is the ultimate purpose. Mm. Okay. So I am not going to be an instrument for the enemy. Mm. I'm not going to be an instrument for the devil. So pray by all means. Think about all the words that we have told you today. And yes, support this if this is something that you also don't stand for. Mm. Support this cause, okay? Challenge the silhouette challenge. So guys, that's that on that. <laughs> you know, let's go back to the smiley and the funny, laughy Ayokbe. <laughs> no, the thing is guys, you know we love you. Mm -hmm. You know we love you. We wouldn't discuss these things if we love it. If we didn't love you, we'll just talk to our children about it. You know we have girls. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just be talking to them and you know, and we have cousins and girlfriends. And we'll just talk to them. But we love each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. And we actually want you all to excel. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. So anyway, back to the matter matter like we said before and we don't want you to forget like get in the comments below if you are going to register today or mm -hmm. even when you've registered say i've registered mm -hmm. so we can actually look out for you finding the one you've always dreamed about mm -hmm. and we we're talking about this because this is something that people ask us all the time mm -hmm. so we want to get together we want to discuss and mm -hmm. like we said give you the tools that you need mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna be dropping some gems. We're gonna be dropping nuggets. Nuggets, some... okay? Because this year is your year. Someone say it's my year. It's my year. This to year shine. is my year, okay? And then we're gonna be starting the series. We're gonna be talking about shooting your shot, okay? Hey. So it's very good to. <laughs> This year we're going to be shooting shots, okay? So we're going to be talking about shooting your shots, so you don't want to miss that. Um, but definitely sign up to this webinar, okay? Let us talk. It's not for everybody, just for those ones who understand their mm. vision in life and, okay, who want to learn one or two things because 
we keep learning every day mm. okay so go and register now early bird ends on the 15th of february so don't even wait for it go and register now and secure your spot because there's not going to be too many spaces mm -hmm. very few spaces and yep. we're going to close it okay if you're new to the channel ladies and gentlemen you want to subscribe to our channel this channel will bless you yeah okay so subscribe now not later okay and just to reintroduce ourselves my name is Ayo, and this is my lovely wife okwayami or okay or Oppie. <laughs> and we have been married for seven beautiful years yep, the last time yep. i said seven years my wife shot me i said of, no of course the years are beautiful by the grace of god yeah. so we want to show you that a happy marriage is possible okay that happily ever after is actually not a myth and that's why we do what we do we mm -hmm. are certified marriage and relationship coaches okay so if you require some coaching whether it's one-to-one -one coaching or you want to be part of a group coaching or you want to talk to us via whatsapp okay just send us an email okay we have different ways in which we speak mm -hmm. to people just to help you literally this is why we're doing these things yeah. okay so reach out to us coaching at iopedavis.com we wrote a book late last year that we released our first book of <laughs> many and the book is titled marriage is easy as abc okay you can find a copy of the book on amazon mm -hmm. or you can go to our website iopedavis.com ladies and gentlemen that being said uh, we're going to be drawing the curtains here okay make sure you're not a stranger to this channel turn on notifications and always be here because we would always be here exactly um can we sing our welcome song to welcome our Which new subscribers one? or should we sing our marriage no, let's, easy let's song? sing the welcome song have we even sung it this year i don't think we sang it this year okay <laughs> do you still remember our, the song <laughs> let us sing our welcome song. let us even sing the full welcome song do you remember that yeah it's long though baby it's not long it's brother you are welcome oh. welcome to this happy family oh sister Say, yeah, yeah. you are welcome, welcome. Yeah. welcome to this joyous family here we go. We're glad you came. We welcome you. We hope you learn a thing or two as you join us on this journey through marriage, faith, and life. We are glad you We're glad came. You came. We, we welcome you. We hope you learn a thing or two as you join us on this journey through marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life. Say. Marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, Marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life. Say, marriage, faith, and life. God bless you guys. Okay, we're also singers. Okay, I have music out there. Ayo Davis, we need to plug that. As I well. don't have music. Let us not forget. Okay, so if you want to listen to some good gospel music, go and check out Ayo I, Davis. Okay, we it. have a few songs, and I'm going to be releasing one or two things this year. So stay tuned because, guys, I've even forgotten that Ayo Davis is a gospel minister. Mm. Don't forget that okay so Don't go and go and listen to those songs uh, mm -hmm. and listen to more of us okay god bless you guys we shall see you in the next video Bye. Bye.